Well, praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. I want to give Yahweh all the glory and praise this day. Truly, Yahweh has blessed us once again that we may hear the words of eternal life. I'm asking all the saints to stand and rise right now so we can have a word of prayer. Amen. Asking all the saints, love it, and all to stand up and let's have a word of prayer. Yes, Lord. Or Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yes, Yahweh. We're giving you all the glory and praise this day, Father Yahweh. Praise. For Yahweh, we know that you take care of your people, Father yes, Yahweh, Lord. through this time that we're going through. Hallelujah. We ask that you continue to allow your spirit to move upon the body, oh Father yes, Yahweh. Lord, Yahweh. And let us keep our minds on you, Father Yahweh. Yes, that we wait patiently for you, Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. For your Father and your instructions, O oh Lord. Yes. We glorify and we say you thank you for thank all you, that Lord, you do Yahweh. for us. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahshua, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. Saints may be seated. Amen. Praise Yahweh again. Praise Yahweh. We give glory to all the preachers that have been praying, uh, uh, bringing forth the word today. Amen. Out of each, each of the richest mouth, truly Yahweh has led them to speak to the congregation and to the world. Amen. But Yahweh's not finished yet. Hallelujah. He still have not reached everyone yet. We still have people doubting. We still have people still being foolish, making wrong decisions. We still have people that's not obeying the spirit, obeying those that have the rule over them, not obeying the instructions that was given to them. We still have saints that's not keeping their house clean, mm. saints that's not uh, doing what they need to do to stay encouraged. Amen. It tells off on you. Hallelujah. It tells when you don't pray. It tells when you're not on Marco Polo or on Zoom. Yeah. It tells when we come into your present, we can discern your spirit that you're not happy, you're not joyful. All these things play a role, saints. Amen. It's very important that you stay encouraged. That's right. You can't give up the fight yet just because things are a little different than you, you used to having. Yes, Lord. Lord is still God. He's still doing what he did yesterday and today and tomorrow, Lord's mm -hmm. will. So you maintain, you need to maintain the good works. That's right. You mean to maintain what the Lord has taught you what to do. Hallelujah. It's very important that you work on yourself to keep yourself motivated. Yes. Lord. To be inspired to the living God. Because Amen. you've got to remember the Lord is the one that brought you out of darkness. Amen. He's the one that called you out of millions of people in the world, saints. Hallelujah. That's why it's very important that you fellowship and meditate and be all that you can be to keep yourself inspired. In the spirit. Amen. Now you have to do this. That's right. Yes, you can lie on your brothers and sisters and, and be in a group, but what it comes when it's by yourself? Mm -hmm. What motivates you to stay in the spirit by yourself? Amen. The Lord looking down at each and every one of our homes and he can tell who's staying in the spirit when they're by themselves. Amen. Is they just letting the devil just get the best of them in their minds? Amen. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah mm -hmm. 55, verse 6. We're going to go get that. We're going to go get, get in the scriptures. We're not going to waste any time. You got that, teacher? It's very important that you keep your mind on the Lord. Amen. Because you're by yourself. That's when the devil wants to come and try you. That's right. That's when he wants to take advantage of you. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll wait until everybody's gone or go to work. Yes. But when you're by yourself, mm -hmm. when there's no one around, yes, Lord. what you going to do? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got that for me, teacher? Isaiah 55 and 6. It what, is written. What do it say? Seek ye Yahweh. Seek the Lord. While he may be found. Not when you're just around your brothers and sisters. Not when you're just on Marco Polo. Mm -hmm. Not when you're on the Zoom. Amen. When you're by yourself too. That's right. Amen. Meditate. Amen. Watch a biblical movie. Yes, Lord. Pray to God. Sing a song. Mm -hmm. Keep your spirit alive. Amen. We cannot let this spirit die. Remember, Amen. we went on that concentration. Everybody was spirit was on high. Amen. Get back to that feeling. Amen. You have to motivate yourself to stay in the spirit. Yes. Us bishops, we're doing all we can to keep you in the faith. But it's you that got to keep your spirit alive. Amen. Energetic. That's Get right. with them that sing on, sing on 360. Amen. Do something to keep it going. Don't let it die out, saints. Now is not the time to let it die out because That's the Lord's right. ready to take us to another level, Hallelujah. no doubt. Amen. You will be left behind if your spirit is not right. Amen. That's why I say seek the Lord. While he may be found. This is opportunity to seek the Lord. He's found right now. Amen. He's in the land right now. He's showing his wonders and his works. 
Now's the time to seek the Lord. That's right. Saints, it's not time to be lacking. Amen. No slacking. Amen. All the distractions. Amen. Lord say stop the distractions. Amen. Do something that's spiritual. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to motivate yourself. That's right. The Spirit is saying tonight, motivate yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep your spirit alive. Amen. Remember how good the Lord is. Amen. Remember your testimony. Yes. Remember the concentration. Remember your first love when you first came in here. What it did for you. That's right. It moved you. Amen. You weren't thinking about the world. Mm -hmm. All you thought about, I need some more of that. You, you thirst for it. Right. You learn so much in that one day, then your whole entire life. You know I'm telling you the truth. Yes. But now all of a sudden, three or four, five, ten years don't went by. Only time you motivate is when you're around the saints and everybody's on one accord. Mm -hmm. But what about that time when you're on your job? Amen. What about that time when you're at the grocery store or someone in the car and they cut you off? Amen. What about that time when your wife is not, she don't clean up the house? Amen. Amen. Or the husband not doing what he's doing, he's arguing, being bitter with his wife. Mm -hmm. What about those times? Yeah. You know I'm telling you the truth. Hallelujah. These are not my words. These are the Holy Ghost words. Hallelujah. Remember your baptism. Amen. Remember what it signified. Yes, Lord. You went down in the water. Mm -hmm. You came up with a new creature. Shouldn't be no more sins on you. Amen. Amen. You should be a new creature by now. That's why I say seek the Lord. While he may be found. While he may be what? Found. No. When he may be what? Found. Found. Call ye upon him. That's what you got to do. While he's here now. Yes. Call on him. Quit being afraid. Amen. Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Prophet used to say, a closed mouth don't get you nothing. nothing. Amen. I learned that from him, and I open my mouth when it's time. Amen. Amen. Believe me, all they can do is say yes and no. But this is God Almighty, a God that's he's never asleep. He's a 24, 365, seven days a week God. You call him on the main line. Amen. You know the song. Yes. Call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord where he may be found. Call you upon him. Call him upon While him. He is near. He's near. Let the wind. He's right near. Look outside. Yes. Man is starting to get comfortable out there now. Mm -hmm. Saints are starting to get comfortable in their homes right now. Mm -hmm. You heard the spirit what it says. Yes. You should be saying amen. Amen. You should be saying our hallelujah. That's right. You should be supporting the weak right now. Amen. Those that are in the church in a time of trouble. Mm -hmm. Ain't no time to be at ease. No, it's not. Amen. Show what you can do to, that you love your brother. You've been hearing it all along. Love your brother. Be there for your brother. Show love. That's God's greatest commandment. Love amen. one another. Hallelujah. Ain't no time to get relaxed. God give us these words to say to you. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like our words, the flesh love words. You wouldn't like that. Oh, no. It's, the tongue would be too sharp. Mm -hmm. Be too sharp. You wouldn't be able to handle it. You, you right. probably want to start fighting. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is here near. Yes. He's right here now. Yes, he is. He's here right now, saints. Amen. He's in Lubbock right now, saints. Yes. He's in down there with Money Calling right now, saints. Mm -hmm. You the one that slowed down. That's right. You the one that took your eyes off of God. Yes, Lord. You the one that ain't doing this right here. This right here. This is what you need to do. Meditate. Amen. Meditation is good. That's right. You can block the devil out when you meditate. Yes, Amen. Sometimes you read and you've been reading for so much. Just put it to the side and just meditate on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And that will pull you through when them devil feed the devil feeding you all that junk in your head. That's right. The devil came to me early this morning. All kind of mess about my wife. I said, get thee behind me, Satan. I ain't listened to that mess. Amen. Back in the day, you got me. Hallelujah. I'm, too, I'm stronger than that now. Amen. I got too many examples in the church that I can yes, look at. Lord. Apostle Washington. Yeah. Apostle Hurley and Prophet. Yeah. The ones that's the built on the foundation. Hallelujah. And the rest of the bishops. Mm -hmm. I can't go back to that. Amen. No, so I rebuked him. Guess what he did? He fled. Yeah. That's right. It was that easy, saints. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thank Yahweh for Apostle. Yes. Yes. Long suffering he was with me. Amen. Had not been for his long suffering, the rest of the bishop, I wouldn't be here. These, this fivefold ministry, had not been for them, I would have been gone. Amen. Amen. They did not change. They stayed the same. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's very important, saints. Yes. Don't fall away. Mm -mm. 
Some are beginning to fall away now. Amen. Leaving the church. Yes. Oh, they just don't know God took his protection off of them. Yes. But we pray that they will return back to us. Amen. That they will get get their minds right. That's right. And say, I shouldn't have did that. Let me return back to, to God. It's yes. better for me to serve Yahweh than to go through all this. Hallelujah. But you're going to pay a price for it, though. Yes, you will. He's not going to let you forget for leaving him. Amen. You forsake God. God didn't forsake you. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling the church tonight, right. get your mind where it needs to be. Right. Focus. Amen. Be quiet and meditate. Amen. I meditate. I quit talking and I meditate. Mm -hmm. It helps me to slow down. Yes, Lord. Helps me to remember what the bishops have taught over the years. I know I'm a bishop, but it's still for me to learn. I'm not high-minded. I ask God all the time, please, Yahweh, bless me to be humble, that I trust in you and wait patiently for you, Yahweh, so that I can't make a mistake, that I walk before you faithfully, Yahweh. Amen. I let the world go. The world don't see me no more. Oh, no. I'm, they don't see me in none of those places no more. Hallelujah. I have witnesses to prove it. Yes. But the Holy Ghost sees everything. Yes, he does. He sees everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it shouldn't be lacking. No excuse. Right. Amen. Getting too soft. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's read. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be, may be found. Yes. Call you upon him while Call he is Call him saints. Uh-huh. Let the wicked. Now. If you're wicked, this is talking about you. Forsake his way. If you're wicked, this is saying to you. The righteous are rejoicing. But if you're wicked, this is you. Amen. It says, let the wicked forsake his way. Change your ways. Amen. It's really not that hard. No, it's not. It is not. I thought it was hard to do to obey God and let the world go. I thought it was the hardest thing for me to ever do. No, it wasn't. Mm -mm. Now that I'm on this side, I was a fool. Amen. I let the devil play me. Right. He tricked me saying that I couldn't let the world go. I couldn't stop doing what the world do. I was doing what the world doing. He tricked me and said, you ain't going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Then he said, it don't take all that. Mm -hmm. He kept filling me, filling me with lies. Yes. That's what he do. He's a liar. Yes, he is. Quit listening to him. Rebuke him. Open your mouth and rebuke him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Let the wicked forsake his Let way. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man and the unrighteous his man is his thought. thought. Quit thinking too much. I said meditate. That's right. Quit thinking about the world and what you got to do outside the world. Mm -hmm. Quit thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised to you anyway. No, it's not. Today is the day of salvation that yes. you hear my voice, Amen. the Lord's voice. You're hearing the Lord's voice right now out of each of these bishops. Listen. Mm -hmm. Look at the text. Yes. Look at the numbers on, on Facebook. Amen. We're out to save souls. Amen. That's our job and that's our duty to save souls. We need each every saint to come on up. Amen. You can do it. We believe in you. God yes. believes in you. Yes. If not, he wouldn't have called you out of darkness. He called many, but few are chosen. He chose you. Mm -hmm. You ought to be. You ought to be thankful for that. That he chose you. Amen. You have an opportunity to make it to heaven. They don't. That's right. why it's important for us to let our light shine. Come on, saints. Amen. You can do it. Hallelujah. We shouldn't have to call a whole concentration to keep that going. You ought to be able to do it on your own. Amen. That's why I said at the beginning, motivate yourself. That's right. Amen. Rebuke the devil. Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. Quit getting into a whole bunch of natural conversations yeah. at home. Amen. That's so easy to do Amen. when you're at home. Get in natural conversation at home. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, your mind ain't even knowing the Lord. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Come on. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let them return unto Yahweh. See, if we do this thing right, they will be able to come back. We are the light of the world. We are their opportunity to, to let, let our light shine so they may see us. That we're, we're not suffering. Mm -hmm. We're not scared. Uh -huh. We believe in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. But to them, they're scared. Amen. They trying to hide it. 
but they're scared really. Mm -hmm. Because when they see us, they see too much light. They want to be like us, but we have to show them how to be. When we speak to them. Hallelujah. We, have, we need to have Yahweh in our mouth. Amen. Not so much naturally conversations. That's why the Spirit is saying when it's in tonight, in your homes, you're speaking so much naturally so and not spiritually so. You got, you got people coming over to your house. You got family members coming over to your house. Amen. You got spiritual brothers and sisters coming to your house. Amen. I know. They come to my house and I speak about the Lord. We had a sister, a uh, uh, daughter came to my house tonight, and I told her about the word. Turn on and, and, and listen to the word. Me and prophet preach. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Amen. Yeah. Tune in. Her soul needs to be saved. Amen. Very important. Yes, Lord. That we do this. Apostle Amen. can't do it by himself. No. Apostle Hurley can't do it by himself. No. Prophet Sandiff can't do it by himself. Amen. And all the rest of the bishop, we cannot do this by ourselves. We need, Apostle often say, I need you more than you need me. It goes both ways. We need each other to do this. That's right. He didn't call you in here just to be relaxed Amen. and let no. the bishop do it That's and the right. supervisors and the deacon and the ushers. No, you important too. You play a major part in this. Amen. Your house needs to be right. Mm -hmm. Your children need to be right. Yeah. Husband, wife, stop your foolish. Amen. Amen. Before the Lord do something. Yes. Keep your eyes on the church. Hallelujah. Keep Amen. your eyes on the church, saints. Yes, Lord. If things get too troubled, we have bishops mm -hmm. to counsel you. Yeah. We have women supervisors to counsel you if it gets too tough. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse. You got help all around you. Telephone right. call. Marco yeah. Polo. Amen. Don't sit there and wrestle with the devil. You can't beat him. That's right. He's too strong. He know the scripture too. Mm -hmm. He know how to twist him like he did Eve. Yeah. You can't win without God. Oh Amen. no. You can't win. Amen. You know I'm telling you the truth about the spirit that's going around in the church. Amen. You feel it too. If you, your mind and your heart is right, you feel that spirit a, a low damp mm -hmm. in the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit told a long time ago, the wicked can't hide behind the, the righteous no more. Oh, no. Can't Amen. do it. It's going to call your hand. Amen. Amen. That's the only, we do it out of love, as the bishop said. We love you, saints. It's very important that you give up the world. Why take that chance and go to hell if there is a hell mm -hmm. by being wicked? Amen. But if it is a heaven, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you can do all you can to get there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't know how to get started, go to one of a bishop. If Amen. the world's too hard and you really want to do what's right, Reach, reach your hand out to us. We'll show you the first steps how to come out of it. Mm -hmm. We'll help you if it takes 101. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not like other churches where there's 10,000 people in the congregation and the minister don't know not even a half of them. He can't even tell you their last names. <laughs> but here, we're a small church. We know each and everybody in the church. Yes. We know each and every one all the way to the children. Mm -hmm. yes. So there's no excuse with all this help that's in the church to help you. Amen. You got to help use us while we're here. Because the time is coming when the Messiah is going to crack that sky and you stand before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then your time don't ran out. That's right. That's right. Remember, it's been proven all through the Bible how many souls were saved. Mm -hmm. How many souls were spared. Yes. It's not going to be that many this time. No, Lord. We've been, Apostle, been warning the church for, I don't know, over 30 some years or more. Saints, a lot of us not going to make it. Amen. Because we can't give up our wicked ways. Can't let the world go. Can't fully, fully trust the Lord. Not halfway. Can't fully trust the Lord. Amen. In all things, saints. That's right. You can't. This ain't no. We, I can't remember what bishop it was. This ain't no serious catalog. You can hand pick what you want out of the Bible. Hand pick what message you want. It don't work that way. That's right. You have to do all of it. That's right. The scripture says he's not coming back for a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. He coming with you just pure white as snow. So check yourself right now. Amen. But I'm going back to what I was saying. Mm -hmm. If you if it's hard for you to let the things go, come talk to one of us. We'll show you the first step to do. Amen. Amen. 
We're going to teach you how to use faith the right way. Mm -hmm. Your faith is not working. That's right. That's why this message keep going forth. Mm -hmm. We should be teaching. We should be preaching something else. That's right. Hallelujah. But the spirit continuously continues that. Right. That means to keep going on and on and on. Mm -hmm. That's how I was able to come out. Because the spirit, the, the spirit is long suffering. Yes, Lord. And I'm glad I did come out. Mm -hmm. But the bishops helped me to do that. I'm yeah. trying to persuade you the same way. Come on out of there. Yes, Stop Lord. that. Amen. For you destroy yourself. Come on, read. Let the wicked forsake his way. Let the wicked forsake his and way. And the righteous man is thought. And the righteous man is thought. Let him return unto Let him Yahweh. return unto Yahweh. And he will have mercy upon him. And he will forgive you. Amen. He forgave me. I didn't deserve it, saints. Yes. You you know my testimony. You you know me in church. My sin was before everybody. Amen. I don't even know how I kept coming to church. I'm talking about the way I was thinking. Amen. How, how is it possible that I keep coming here when I know I'm not living right? I know that I am so wicked, but I still come into the house of judgment and I, I still sh keep showing up mm -hmm. until I heard this still voice say, keep going to church. Amen. Keep going to church. When the yeah. time come, I will raise you up and nobody going to have nothing bad to say about you. But it took a long time for me to let go of my ways. I was stubborn as an ox. Yes. Stubborn as a donkey or a mule. Amen. And they some stubborn creatures. Amen. That's what I was. Yes. But I gave up that kind of mind. I let that mind go. Hallelujah. I let the Lord touch my heart again. Yes, Lord. And I'm not drawn back to, to that again. Amen. I said I cannot do that. I know what the Lord did for me. He kept his promise, saints. He kept his promise like he said he did. Even when I was a sinner in the church, a hypocrite. He kept his promise. That's why I can't go back and change. Amen. That's why I keep my mind on the Lord. That's why I beat and bring my body under suggest and let the world go. That's why you see me different. Yes, Amen. Yahweh. Change this old heart of mine, oh Yahweh. Put into me a clean heart that I may serve you, Father Yahweh. Amen. So that I may redeem the time this night, Father yes, Yahweh. Yes, that I may make glory to your name again, Father Hallelujah. Yahweh. Yes, Yahweh. Instead of blaspheming, mm -hmm. bringing the church a bad name like I did. I shouldn't even be standing here. I'm not ashamed to tell the world this and the saints how bad I was. I failed. You need to know that this is real. We don't play around here. We tell the truth. I failed God, yeah. but he showed me much mercy, just like he said, if I return back to him, and he will have mercy he upon He will him. have mercy. And to our God, he will abundantly pardon. He pardoned all my sins. That's what I'm saying. It's not too late to change. Amen. If you're ashamed, you will change. That's yes. Right. We plead each and every night up here, seven days a week, to reach you, saints, to reach the world. Even the people out there world, we starting to get people to call in and texting and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not hard letting the world go. We'll show you how easy it really is. Yes. But you got to give up your mind. Amen. Amen. You have to deny yourself. Yes, you do. You have to give up all your rights. Amen. Like if you go to jail, you don't have no rights. Oh no. They tell you when to eat or go to sleep. Oh yeah. They tell you when lights are out. Yes. But but the Lord is going to protect you. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to take care of your needs. You won't have to worry about what tomorrow is. Yeah. I don't make no plans. I keep it open for God. So that way, when the Spirit calls, I'm ready to go. I owe that to God. I'm saying me. I owe it to our bishops that long-suffering and put up with my foolishness. I owe that to my brothers. They're my brothers. Brothers stick together. Amen. We're on one accord. We stick together. Amen. And we need the saints to do the same. Stick together. Amen. We can't let God down. Now's the time to show the world how, where, why we doing what we're doing. That's right. This is our opportunity to, to be on the map. Amen. If, if Pastor only had the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C., to get on every channel on the, on, on the TV, he could go a lot further. Mm -hmm. 
But since he can't do that, this is the best we can. Amen. We're reaching more people here than we were going to door to door. Yes. So this is our opportunity to show people. To let the mouth spread wide. Amen. Yes. The mouth travels twice as fast as media. Amen. It's like a disease. It will flow. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we plead to you, Saint. That's right. Get your mind back to where it is. Amen. Amen. Humble yourself before God. Yeah. He will pardon all your sins no matter what it is. Amen. It's that easy. Mm -hmm. It's not hard. No, it's you not. make it hard. Amen. Come on, let's read. For my thoughts For are my not thoughts, your thoughts. Not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. See? Saith Yahweh. We can't think like God. Mm -mm. But we can obey. Amen. God is in control of everything. That's right. If you let him control he would make it easy for you. Since I change, Yahweh just, I just wait and the Lord just makes everything happen. Amen. And I see it now. The more I do it, the better it is for me. I still go through trials. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about that no more. He took all that away from me. Yes, I don't have to think that stuff. That's I just wait till the Lord talks to me. I meditate and do what I need to do. I keep myself encouraged. I'm at home. With my family, Amen. doing Amen. spiritual stuff, watching, yes. the, watching the word. Mm -hmm. I don't have to think about stuff in the world. No, no, no. That stuff messes with your mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah. And that's what you're slipping into. Mm -hmm. You're going back down that road. The Lord is sending a warning. Don't do that. You're going to destroy yourself before you know it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, my time is getting up. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, uh -huh. so are my ways higher than your ways. Come on, let's go. And my thoughts are than your thoughts. Thank you. We're going to go over here now. Let's go to Romans. Romans. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your words. Thank you, for Yahweh, for the words that you've given me out of my Amen. mouth. Let's go to Romans 8 and 6. Amen. Romans start, 8 start at, uh, verse 4. Romans 8 and, 8 and 4. Yes. It is written uh -huh. that the righteousness of the law uh -huh. might be fulfilled in us uh -huh. who walk not after the flesh, uh -huh. but after the spirit. Uh -huh. For they that are after the flesh uh -huh. do mind the things of the flesh. That, see, that's what I'm talking about. If your mind is thinking thoughts about tomorrow, working, et etc., et etc., et you're not thinking about the Lord. Amen. The Amen. spirit ain't in you. That's right. You can't tell me it is. You can try, but spirit see right through you. Amen. Right. Okay, come on. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Uh huh. But they that are after the spirit, the now, things of the spirit. But see, if you're not one of the spiritual ones, you can't use this. Amen. Only the, the ones that are righteous is walking in the spirit. Hallelujah. Now, which one are you? Amen. I'm talking about to the saints right now. Which one are you? We ain't call nobody name. We ain't try to belittle no one. No Lord. We just bring forth the word. Amen. So we need all the saints to walk in the spirit. That's Read. Right. For to be carnally minded mm -hmm. is death. See, told you you're going to lead to destruction if you keep thinking that way and keep doing the stuff in the world. It's death. Amen. You're going to die. That's right. You won't make it to heaven. You're going to burn for eternity. Amen. Amen. I'm hoping I'm reaching to you. I'm hoping that I can get you to understand this. Amen. It's better to obey. Yes. Obedience Sacrifice is no good. That's right. Because you're going to do your sacrifice, not what God asked you to do. Amen. That's why it's no good. That's right. Obedience is better. Just line on line and precept on something. Just line on up with the rest of us. Yeah. That's what I had to do. Amen. You saw my struggles. Amen. You saw how I was just over there, a, a dead man walking. Mm -hmm. No life. Yeah. No fire. I tried to hide it. The Spirit saw right through it. Amen. Amen. I wasn't fooling nobody. I just fooled myself. Just thinking that I could make myself feel good. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel good. So I kept doing what I was doing. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. For to be carnally minded is death. Is death. But to be spiritually minded, to be spiritually is minded. life and peace. See, you're gonna have life and peace. That's right. I don't worry about anything else no more. Mm -hmm. I think about apostle and prophet and apostle Washington and the rest of the bishop. Amen. 
Amen. I see how they at ease mm -hmm. that they're not out there in the land and, and, and getting in trouble with the, the cares of the world. That's right. I do the same. And you know what? It's so much easier. Mm -hmm. I can focus more on the Lord or meditate, whatever. Amen. That's why it look easy to those that are that are walking up right. Mm -hmm. And for you back there that's quiet and don't say nothing, don't clapping. We're still trying to teach you to open your mouth. You don't do it. Amen. You know why you don't open your mouth. You're not scared. All of y'all not scared. I talk to y'all. Y'all don't look scared. So why you can't obey? That's right. All these little bitty things plays a major in your salvation. It keeps your strength alive. Amen. You have to do all of it. Hallelujah. That's why the Spirit said, mark the perfect man. If the man Amen. of God is doing it, yeah. that's what we got to do. Hallelujah. We got to become like that so we can make the Father happy. Because if the Father's happy, he's happy with us. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. You're against God. Amen. Your mind is against God because you're not thinking about God. Oh, no. Because you know why? You done separated yourself already from God. Amen. Boil down to it. When you, we come down to the major line, you've already separated yourself. It's just the body here. Amen. Amen. Your mind ain't here. You have separated yourself. Yes. The Bible says, who shall separate themselves from the love of God? Mm -hmm. Who? Who? That means who, what, when, how, whatever. Yes. What's going to cause you to turn from God? Yes. The spirit has already been breaking down so far mm -hmm. to the last coming in when it talks about the bishops, mm -hmm. when it talks about the husband wives, when it yeah. talks about serving God, when it talks about doing those things that was instructed of you. Amen. Spirit has been breaking it, breaking it, breaking it, breaking it, breaking on down so that you don't have no excuse Amen. for your actions. Hallelujah. So I ask you again. What separate you from the love of God? Amen. Read. Amen. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Let's go to Romans 8, 35. Amen. It is written. Yes. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Mm -hmm. Shall tribulation? Now, we know that this is time of where the Lord is on the land. And we're placed in a situation that the church has never been before. Amen. And some thinking this is tribulation because you can't do anything. That's right. So this is an opportunity to get your mind right with God. Amen. But this is a tribulation for you. Mm -hmm. You're not used to this. Amen. This is out your comfort zone. Amen. But if your mind was right and your spirit was right, this wouldn't be nothing but the opportunity yes. to go to the Father more. Amen. You know I'm telling right. Amen. Just look at those that are happy with joy. That's right. Look at them that got a life of spirit and a lot of fire in them. Amen. Look at some that been in darkness for so long that came out of darkness. Now they just smiling so bright now on Marco Polo. I'm proud of Sister Disa, just sparkling. Amen. I'm proud of Sister Jennifer, just on there all the time. Yes. And some of the other saints. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. That you you can't you can't fake that. No, you can't. Amen. You cannot fake that. That's real. Amen. So I ask you again, is it tribulation? Amen. Come on. Or distress? Are you stressed out? You shouldn't be stressed out. What are no. you stressing about? Amen. You're in your homes. That's right. Even if you're not working, the Lord's still providing some money for you. That's you right. still got the same. So what are you stressing out about? Amen. Amen. What's there to stress? The Lord took most of it out of your hands. You can't do nothing in the world. Mm -hmm. So why are you stressed? Amen. Shouldn't be no distress. What else? Come on. Or persecution. Persecution. Or famine. Or famine. Or now, this is kind of like a famine mm -hmm. in the land, Amen. in the church. Yeah. We're not used to being in our homes. We're used to coming together here or we're driving to Lubbock to be with our brothers and sisters down there. Yeah. But now we can't get in the land mm -hmm. like we want to. Amen. We have to stay here until the Lord say fit, until he lift the plague up if he mm -hmm. choose to. Yeah. Before we can go spend time with our brother and sister in Amen. body to body. Amen. So this is like a fanning to it. That's right. I know you're not used to being in this wilderness. Mm -hmm. But some has to die in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. Some are already starting to die in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't take us 40 years to get right. Amen. Amen. I want to go to the promised land. I don't want to be in this wilderness for no 40 years. Mm -hmm. 
For all you ones that ain't got your mind made up to die out. Huh, no, yeah. I'm encouraging you, don't do that. Let's all go into to, uh, the promised land. Amen. And see where the Lord going to take us next. He That's may right. tell us, go to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Who's to say? Yeah. Amen. He may decide to say, okay, I want to do send two out by two into yeah. these lands. It's Bible for it. Yes. Who say we can't do it today? Amen. Are you going to be strong enough to keep your mind right while the twos and twos are going out? Are you going to be strong enough? Amen. Right now, you ask the question, are you one of those ones that's strong enough if that happens? Yeah. If not, now's the time. Come Amen. on. Or nakedness. Or nakedness. Or pearl. Or pearl. Or sword. Or sword. As it is written, as for thy it, sake. I didn't write this down. Mm -mm. You can read along with me. Amen. Amen. As it is risen. For thy sake, we are killed all the day long. You got to kill this flesh all the time. All yeah. the day long. Amen. Even when you go to sleep, mm -hmm. you may get a dream from the devil. Right. Something that you're watching on TV and you dream about it. Mm. <laughs> That's right. You can't run. There's nowhere to run. Amen. He's all around you. Amen. Waiting for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Waiting for you to put down your shield, yeah. your helmet, your breastplate. Yes, Lord. Catch you off guard. Amen. And when you, as soon as you do that, he whispered to you mm -hmm. with smooth words. Then he got you. Mm -hmm. right, right. Like a thief in night, he creep into your house yes, while you sleep. Amen. Before you know it, he's standing right over your bed looking at you. Mm -hmm. Come on. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yes. Nay, in all these things. Nay, in all these things I mentioned, and all the rest of the bishops have mentioned, we are more than and all these things. All these things the bishop's been mentioned over the week, and Apostle yeah. Washington been mentioned. Mm -hmm. Out of all these things, we are it's not impossible conqueror. to be a conqueror. Amen. Amen. I came out of it. That's right. More than conquerors. Yes. It was it was too hard by myself. But yeah. when I lined up, I had not just God. I had the bishops. I had the saints all in my corner, and I was able to whoop that devil and came victorious for the Lord. Amen. Amen. I just had to get right and open my mouth and claim it and repent. That's right. And once I did that, the Lord took care of everything like he said he did. Because he didn't lie. He said he cannot lie. He kept his promise to me. Amen. Or I wouldn't be standing up here right now. That's right. You are a conqueror. Yes. He chose you out of millions of people. Amen. That is special. Yes. Somebody else could be in your place while you fooling around, trying to make up your mind. Amen. Come on. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Yes. Through him that loved us. See, he loved us, saints. That's why we're preaching so hard to you. Amen. We're really extending our hands far as we can extend it. Mm -hmm. God is with us. Amen. We just ask you to grab a hand, grab it. Amen. That's right. You don't have to fight the battle by yourself. No, you don't. Even if you forgot what we taught you over the years. We can read more over, brother. We can preach it to you again and again and again Amen. if you ain't got it. That's right. Just like in school, if you ain't learned four plus four is eight, we're going to keep teaching until you say eight. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we'll preach it 50,000 times if we have to, till you get it. Amen. We're never going to give up on you. As long as you got the breath of life, we're not going to give up on you. That's right. Because God didn't give up on us, He forgave us. Amen. We are brothers. We Amen. are sisters. Yes. We have to stick together. Amen. We can win this war. That's right. We can win this battle. Mm -hmm. we, he gave us great leaders. Yes. Amen. He gave Amen. us great bishops. Amen. We're a small bunch. They 10,000 or a billion out there. But just us little, we can conquer all the billions of people. Hallelujah. We can help save them all if we just get on one accord. Amen. You heard the story in the Bible. When they all came to go, Jericho wall fall down. Yeah. Because they was on one accord. Amen. Had a mind to work. They all had the same mind and they was able to do just what God instructed them to do and bring that wall down. Amen. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. Oh, no. Remember, God is in control. Yes. He can fix it. That's right. Call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah. You want to be saved? Come on. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. For I am persuaded. I'm persuaded. That neither death. You can't even be scared of death. Mm -mm. If you're right, we're not scared of death. We know that's part of life. Amen. But if you're not right, you ought to be scared of death. Amen. Because you only got one way ticket. Mm -hmm. It's not up. No. Come on. Nor life. We're not worrying about this life because we know we're just passing by. Amen. We're like a pilgrim passing by. Right. We know that we're ready to go home. Amen. I'm talking about not to our natural house. I'm talking about that mansion that the Lord made for us. Amen. Those that worked hard Amen. and faithfully Amen. and kept the Lord's word. That's and right. walked in, in, in all the days of his life, he worshiped the Lord in truth Amen. and walked up right. Amen. Talking about that mansion. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Nor angels. Nor angels. Nor principalities. Angels can't let them devils out there trick you. That's right. They, I said they smooth talking. They know the scripture too. The devil knows the scripture. Yes. He can give you 80% of the word and that last 20% mix it all in there and you think it's right. You say, God spoke to me. Mm -hmm. If you didn't come out of this Bible or you didn't come out of the bishop, Amen. you better go and ask. Just to be on safe ground. That's right. Go ask. Don't take it and say, well, because I heard this voice. If you you better go get checked. There's safety in that. He will sing you a song of strong delusion. That's right, prophet. He will sing you a strong delusion. And you know, we've seen that in the church. Ah, they sent me to go to Philadelphia and, and preach the word and got there. Wasn't what that brother said. He wanted, because there was some down there, uh -huh. down there that he was waiting to get to. I ain't going to tell the story, but right. yeah. He had a strong delusion. Amen. No communication. Yes, Lord. That's right. He really, belonged, he really thought that. Uh -huh. And look, he ain't in church today. That's oh. right. He said the people need to hear the message. He said the people need to hear the message. Don't you know <laughs> we got a prophet here interpret? Don't you know we got apostles here? He didn't wait for the instruction. He already had it in his mind, already made up. He had a thought, like we read a while. He had a thought. Amen. And strong delusion, and he went on that. Yes, and man. now he's out to church. Amen. Lost. Amen. That's right. Got a brother already left the church. Lost. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Same thing. He had a different vision. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Amen. Didn't want to love his wife. Didn't want to love his wife, like the Spirit told him. Amen. Wife didn't want to love the husband, like. She was instructed. Mm -hmm. Keeping the house clean. Yes. Doing this. Don't argue with them. Mm -hmm. Go fellowship. Pray. Read fast. Just keep the house clean. That's all. Don't get into argument with your husband. He's the Lord. Call him Lord. Be sweet to him. Be nice. That's right. Yes. Amen. But when, see, when you don't do this, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Your own strength is not strong enough to do it. Amen. You make a bigger mess of it. And somebody's going to leave or everybody's going to be out the church. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, my time is on. Nor angels, nor principalities. Uh-huh. Nor powers. No power. Nor things present. No things. Nor things to come. Right now is the time. Yes. Your condition. Yes. Some of y'all worrying about money. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. Amen. We already know what he said in the book of Matthew. If he loved the birds and all the creeping things on earth, he loved you more. He will take care of you. Why are you worrying about that stuff? That's right. He said, consider them. You got all these brothers and sisters in there. You think we're going to let you starve to death? No. Mm -hmm. May not be what you want to eat that day, but we're not going to let you starve. That's right. So don't worry about that. Don't faint. Amen. Look what the saints are doing for the saints in love. It. We're not going to let them starve. Mm -hmm. Putting food and money out there for them. And sending them flowers and showing we appreciate it. Marco Polo mm -hmm. and we all expressing our love and praying for them. Yeah. We take care of our people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Nor height. Nor height. Nor death. Nor death. Nor any other creature. Nor any other creature. Shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. Nothing can separate from God now. That's right. Not even my wife or my children or my grandbabies. Mm -hmm. I say like apostle said. If I got to go, I got to go by myself. Yeah. I love them. I love my wife. Oh, yeah. Now I got my mind right. Mm -hmm. I love my children. Mm -hmm. I love my grandbabies. My papa babies. Yeah. I love the saints. But when it comes to my salvation, I have to think about myself to get Amen. there. I love all y'all. Yes. So I'm not going to hell for nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You should say the same thing too. 
Amen. Don't let nobody take you going down in hell. Mm -mm. Watch the good examples in the church. Look at them. Watch them. Spirit been already preaching it. Watch the bishops. Yes. They don't say move, don't move. Amen. I wanted to go love it. I seek counsel. Yeah, I'm a bishop. I seek counsel. Spirit said yes. Then spirit turned around and said, don't go. I said, yes, Lord. Just that simple. I didn't get no attitude. I said, Amen. thank you, Yahweh. You probably saved me from harm. Yeah. But I was grateful. Mm -hmm. And then it was my understanding came later. I said, hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Yes. See, obey. Come on. Amen. Nor height, nor debt, nor any other creature uh -huh. shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. Yes. Which is in Yahshua, the Messiah, our Lord. Yes. So don't let nothing separate you from the love of God. Amen. What shall we say to them things? Mm -hmm. The things of the world. Yes. If God be for us. Who can be against us? Who can be against us? That's right. It's scripture for this. Amen. Amen. Who can be against us? Amen. Nobody. Mm -hmm. That's right. We oppose ourselves. We we are apostles say the worst the worst thing I can't say is Zach like him. Well, he fears the most is himself. Mm -hmm. This flesh. Yes. Yes. This flesh. I hate this flesh now. Amen. Now that my eyes been open, I don't like it. I don't care what it look like. I don't like it. Nope. Because you know why? It always wanna go against God. Mm -hmm. It it wants to get me off track. It wants me to say, won't you just take a ride? No. Amen. Won't you just call? No. Amen. I've passed that. I'm ready to go to that next level that Apostle and Apostle Washington is saying. I want to see what's on the next level. Yes. I'm excited now. Amen. I couldn't say that before. Because I was wrong. Yeah. I want to see what I want to see the promised land. I'm calling the next level the promised land. I want to see the next level land. I want to see what's up there. Amen. I'm ready to go on, saints. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to go on? Amen. Yeah. If not, you're going to get left behind. That's right. Amen. The bus is not going to wait on you. You got to be on time to get on that bus. We're not stopping. Amen. We're not stopping. That's right. Come on. Amen. I say the truth in the Messiah. I'm telling you the truth, saints. I know I'm not. telling you the truth. Yeah. All the bishops been up here, we're telling you the truth. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We're being spoken by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. If you humble, trust God. Wait patiently. I tell my family this all the time. I know they know it by heart now. Humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Wait patiently. And God will show you. He will lead you. Amen. But you got to wait. You can't run ahead of the Spirit. Amen. I tried that one time. I read ahead of the Spirit. And God had the church lost. I didn't do that again. Amen. Mm -mm. Amen. I look like a fool. <laughs> I learned now. I learned to wait on the spirit. Amen. I'm not going to do nothing unless they tell me to. Amen. And I'm a bishop. If they instruct me to do this, that's what I'm going to do. They want me to change this? Yes, Yahweh. Amen. I'll work on that. That's it. Ain't no ends, ifs, but. I'll see the other bishops. I'll line up with them. Safety in that. Amen. You don't get in trouble. Amen. God won't punish you. Amen. Because when God punish you, none of us can do anything That's for you. Right. That's right. Even Apostle Washington can't do nothing for you. That's right. Amen. When God decides to punish you, none of us can help you. You have to let the Lord will be done. Hoping Amen. that he don't take your life. That's right. I got a son out there in the world. All I can do, just pray to Yahweh that you don't take his life. Mm. That's all I can do. Amen. Yeah. It, he's in the hands of the Lord now. Amen. Oh, I love my son. My wife loves her son. Mm -hmm. Her brother and sister love their, their brother. Mm -hmm. The saints love him. Yes. But that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Right. I can't let my son send me to hell wow. to go and help him and do what he's doing. No, I can't. I'm not going to do that. No. When he come to the house, as long as he talk right, praise Yahweh. Opportunity to come. Watch the word, whatever, give him a hug. And that's about it. I love you, son. Amen. If I'm not mean to him, I show him love like the Apostle showed me. As far as I go. Amen. That's it. Amen. I'm not playing church no more. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yahweh don't show me too much. 
Yes. Amen. My eyes been open. I'm finally, after so many years, I've tasted God now. How really he's been good and he spared my life. He spared me, saints. Yeah. I, I told you I shouldn't even be living right now. I should have took heed when he gave me the cancer. I should have took heed when I got hit in the head. I should have took heed when I had three wrecks. Amen. He's been too merciful f to me. Amen. Yeah. All through that time, he still spared me. Yes, and I still walk not faithfully. And I keep saying, why, Lord? Why did you just spare me, Father? When I, I, I was like Peter. I turned my back on you, Father Yahweh, more than three times. How can you be so loving like that, Father, to forgive me like that? And I got to go and stand before all my brothers and sisters in the church. Yeah. How, you know how that makes me feel ashamed? It hurts so much that I did my brother and sister like that. Amen. Lord chose me to be a light to them. And I did. I turned to be walking darkness. Amen. They didn't find no joy in me. Yeah. Why, oh Lord, why did you forgive me for all those things? Amen. Because he said... It's not that he want any man to perish. That's Just right. come unto repentance. That's all. That's all he's asking. Amen. And walk up right. That's right. That's it. Amen. You read a while ago, he will pardon all your sins. Abundantly. Yeah. Abundantly. Not just one thing you did. Abundantly. All of it. Amen. He'll throw it into the sea of forgiveness. Yes, yes. he will. Hallelujah. Long as you walk up right. Mm -hmm. But you're going to pay a little price for that. Oh, yes, you will. Nobody gets away. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to pay a price. I'm paying a price today. Mm -hmm. All the thing I was kind of like Moses. I, I kind of like Moses because I can relate to him a lot. Had all that and lost it all. Mm -hmm. Didn't have nothing. Right. Now I had all that and I ain't got nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about naturally so. Yeah. But it was worth it. The Lord had to bring me Man. down, down, down. Because yes. I was hard headed. In order for me to my eyes to be open, because I my, I was blind, but now I see. Amen. What is it going to take to make you to see? Hallelujah. Amen. We'll have another bishop come up here in a minute. What is it going to take get you to see? Mm -hmm. And tomorrow night, Lord's will, two more or one more yeah. to get you to see. Amen. Our job is to make you see this. We're not here to just bring smooth words to you. We're charged by God. Yes. Your, your soul is very important. Amen. Amen. We have to give an account for you. We Amen. have to make sure that we've done all that we can do as servants. We are your servants. Amen. It's our job to do our best. 200%. Hallelujah. Ain't got nothing to do with feelings, emotions, or none of that stuff. That's right. Ain't got nothing to do with bills and jobs and none of that stuff. Ain't got nothing to bid about none of that. Amen. It has something to do with this. 200% this. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. Hallelujah. We're just passing by. That stuff is just passing by. That is not eternal stuff. Mm -hmm. Riches of the world. That's not eternal. Mm -hmm. You work for 50 years and you don't get nothing, you're going to die. Can't take none of it with you. Thanks. So what did it prosper you? Nothing. nothing. Amen. Amen. Seek to, to save yourself mm -hmm. rather than to lay your life down for the Lord. Amen. You're going to lose your life. Yes, you will. Then we're going to sing that song. It's nobody fault. You can sing the rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nobody fault. Amen. <laughs> you can just put the last words to it. Yeah. I, I used to hate that song. <laughs> it got me every time because it was my fault. Yeah. It was my fault. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So get your mind right. Gird up your lawns. Get your mind right where it's supposed to be. Yes. Before it's everlasting too late. Amen. Seek the Lord with your whole mind, body, and soul. Yes. Quit having the treasure of this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't take it with you. No. The Lord even talks about treasure on the world. Mm -hmm. The devil tried him with treasures of the world. Yes, he did. And he rejected it. Right. You can't give me this. I don't want that. Amen. He rejected 
Yeah. Because he saw what the devil was doing. Amen. And that's what the devil is trying to get you to do. Keep your kernel minds on the things of the world. Amen. When the Bible says, seek those things above. Yes. Serve the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't lay your treasures up on the land. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. What if you lose it all? Mm -hmm. And you're not serving the Lord. You're going to go crazy. Amen. That's why Apostle don't let not even money move him. That's right. Amen. He'll give his last dollar yes, he will. for the work of the ministry. Amen. Our beloved pastor children mm -hmm. gave up his last money mm -hmm. to the church. And then his work was finished. He was able to say it like I should. My work is finished. Amen. I ran this race. I made it all the way to the finish line, Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. You still alive. Your race is not over yet. You can't give up now. Told you we're only halfway. We gotta get to the next level. Amen. Will you still be around when we have the next concentration? Lord's will. Will you still be around? Pastor often say this you, just about every year. It's back season time for backsliders yeah. to slide right Amen. out of the church. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And it has come to pass. Amen. That's right. He, the Lord send you warnings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Open your eyes. Before. <laughs> Before it's too everlasting late. That's right. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Ooh, preaching this word make you tired. Amen. It takes a lot out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't see how possible do it. Two hours. Amen. That's the man of God. <laughs> yeah. But saints, that's all the words I have to say today. I'm getting ready to turn this over, this over to our beloved prophet Standifer. Now, he's the prophet in the church. He's a man of God, been in the faith for a while. Let us all stand and rise by saying, praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. Praise Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh, for the words that came out of the mouth of Pastor Bibbs. Truly, they're always on time. He's a Yahweh is a faithful God, and he won't forsake the righteous. Thanking Yahweh for the fivefold ministry that we do have, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And it's a great honor to stand before you and speak the words of the Most High God tonight. And we say unto those that may be tuned in, and for you that, for the saints, uh, go ahead and press share one more time. Just in case some tuned out, maybe they'll tune back in. Amen. Because we have words of uh, eternal life to speak unto the hearer. Amen. And I'm thanking Yahweh for another day that wasn't promised to me. In this time we're living in, it's perilous times. And man, don't, they, they don't want the love of the Lord in their life. Thanking Yahweh for the wife that he's blessed me with, for my children, for my grandchildren. I have much to be thankful for. And I say to the saints, now is not the time to faint because of adversities or anything on that wise. But we need to gird up the loins of our mind and let's think sober in this, in, in this dark hour. Amen. Knowing of what the will of the Lord is. That's right. That we stay, stand fast and the liberties that he have blessed us to have. Yes. Uh, let's continue to, to, to pray. Amen. Let's continue to fast one for another. Uh, thanking on uh, Minister Childers and Brother Romero, hearing good news on Brother Romero's part. Amen. Which my heart do Hallelujah. Back in my yes, Lord. Amen. Because we serve an awesome God. Awesome. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. There, there are times, saints, that we, sometimes we just have to fall on our face and we have to seek Yahweh. He won't forsake us. We forsake him. He won't forsake us. No, won't. And so sometimes it takes things like this for people to actually become a believer that Yahweh is able to do all things Amen. In, Amen. in our lives. That's right. But I want to call your attention. We're going to start out in, in Romans 10. 
Amen. And again, as Pastor Bibb said, it's not his will that any man should perish, but that you come unto repentance. Amen. You know, we're living in the time with this uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you label you want to put on it. But, you know, Yahweh, he has a way to get man's attention. Oh, yes. and, and I can truly say, Yahweh have the world's attention right now. Oh, yes. the, I, I don't hear about drunk and driving right now. Amen. I don't hear about a lot of uh, breaking in homes. Uh, no. Nope. I, I don't hear about the club. I don't hear about shootings. A lot of crime. Nope. Uh, the the crime rate is 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 down. <laughs> the the club scene is is closed. <laughs> I, I don't see any fights going on. You know because the news media love to show all of that stuff. Amen. But Yahweh, He spoke. Yes. Yeah. And the world is still right now. At this point in time in our life, we have a stay-at-home policy mm -hmm. uh -huh. around the world, yeah, not, not just here in America. Uh -huh. don't, don't tell me that Yahweh is not speaking to mankind yes. to, to repent. That's yeah. right. And when you repent, you must believe the gospel. We say this to every hearer. Amen. Amen. You cannot believe according to your own thoughts because Amen. our thoughts are you, you heard what Pastor Bill was reading earlier uh -huh. our thoughts are not his thoughts no, Lord. our thoughts are so, I'm sorry we don't we don't even begin to think like Yahweh no, no. so when, when you say why would God allow all this to happen because he don't think like you that's right in order to get the world to see him uh -huh. mm -hmm. he has to do something that just uh just wow, yeah, no. what in the world make, make you question Amen. what's going on uh -huh. to make you see his face. Amen. So he put the brakes on the whole world. Yes, he did. Amen. Uh, Romans 10. Romans 10 and 1. Uh, yes, sir. It is written. Yes. Brethren. Brethren. My heart's desire. Yes, my, my heart's desire. All, all of the bishops' heart's desire. Amen. And prayer to and, Yahweh. And, and our prayer. To Yahweh for Israel is it, it's for the church that they might be that, saved. That you might you might be saved. Amen. That that's our prayer. Amen. When we go before Yahweh, that's our prayer that you might be saved. Amen. But but there's a might right there. A might. Amen. That there's something on your behalf that you have to do. He already laid his life down. He already Amen. He gave up the ghost and rose to, on the third day. Amen. He did his part. Amen. But it said, well, we might. Yes. Don't, don't you know our salvation depends on how we choose to live our life? Uh -huh. If we're not willing to lay our life down from the sins of mankind mm -hmm. and seek his face, yeah. we won't be saved. Amen. But it says that we might be saved. For I bear them record. But I bear them record. That they have a zeal of you, God. You know, I see it all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the churches around, mm -hmm. uh, mankind, they have a zeal for God. Amen. But not according but, to knowledge. But not according to what's written. Amen. You have a zeal for Yahweh. They're sitting up churches, mm -hmm. but they're not doing it according to, to, to knowledge. Amen. The, the, this, this is what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. he, he gave them apostles. Yes. Prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. This is for the perfecting of the body of the Messiah. Uh -huh. This is how, but you have a zeal. Mm -hmm. For God. Man, they're setting up church buildings everywhere. Mm -hmm. But they are one man operation. Yes, they are. Because they're gathering man unto themselves. Yeah. That's not what the scripture teach you. No, Lord. To gather men unto yourself. This, this is the body of the Messiah. Amen. Why is it that even in the apostolic faith, why is it that men are so offended when an apostle is in their presence, mm -hmm. they, are, they shut down. Amen. Won't even allow him to speak when, when the scriptures say, he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall, shall receive, receive a, a prophet's, prophet's reward. reward. Why is it that you deny the faith? Amen. It's, it's so many have, they have a zeal, Hallelujah. but they deny the faith. Mm -hmm. 
It said, they that believe were together, together. but it's believe according to what's written. All this one man domination thing, it don't work. No. When I read the scriptures, I read about the apostles being together, being on one accord. Uh, brother going out there ministering to the bodies Amen. of the Messiah. Amen. Where is that in the land today? Where? Uh, it's here. Mm -hmm. We got a body in Lubbock, got a body in Sinton, mm -hmm. and wherever that those that were uh, extend a hand and believe according to what's written. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Because my question to you, where are you getting your teaching from? Where? Mm -hmm. Don't 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 tell me about the one that's dead and in the grave, mm -hmm. because he's not helping you anymore. Mm -hmm. The scripture teaches me that we should grow mm -hmm. in grace. Amen. And in the knowledge. Amen. See, there should be some growing going Amen. on. Hey, right. If we're still teaching the Take water baptism, and that's all you teaching, you ain't grown at all. That's right. You still thinking uh, the I thank the Lord for my water baptism, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You're not growing at all. Amen. You that that should be some growth there. Hallelujah. You should be talking about what you what you're learning. Mm -hmm. uh, what sins are you denying? That's right. Because see, Satan is always presenting sin always. before us. Yeah, every day. A a every day, mm -hmm. something pops up mm -hmm. to where this flesh want to respond to it, mm -hmm. not according to godliness, mm -hmm. but according to that sinful flesh. Amen. You know, we often hear about, you know, we have many truck drivers in the church. Mm -hmm. And one of, our, the, one of the biggest trials is when people cut you off or... Uh, they cut you off and shoot the finger. All right. And they just pass by you with that finger out and, and, and just cussing you up and down. Mm -hmm. And all we can do is bless and curse not. Mm -hmm. Say, Father, <laughs> forgive them. They know not what they do. Amen. I don't keep up with them. Now, don't get me wrong. Do a thought pop in my mind? I can't, oh. I can't stop saying for putting can. thoughts in my head. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he showed me. Yes. Driving beside them, flipping them off too. Yeah, uh -huh. And as Pastor Bill was saying, I, I, I rebuke you, Satan. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Yeah. Evil thought, get behind me. Yeah. It, it, you don't have no place in my life. Amen. And so I slow down. I, I'll ask for forgiveness if, if I'm in their way. That's what we have to do. Amen. But read it. For I bear them record. It says, I bear them record. That they have a zeal of they God. They have a zeal of God. But not according but to not knowledge. But not according to knowledge. For they being they, ignorant they're, they're of being Yahweh's righteousness. Wise. Mm -hmm. We're ignorant. <laughs> because see, many people, they pick this Bible up and they read it. Mm -hmm. But without apostles, my friend, you're not going to understand this. No. And... and Many people want to put apostles outside of the, it. It is no more, according to what you say. They're extinct. Mm -hmm. they, they died 2,000 years ago. That's not what I read. No. He said, he said, Lord, I'll be with you, and this is the chief apostle, uh, until the end of time. Yeah, the end of time. And we ain't at the end of the time. He said he's the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. If he's the same God that called for apostles, prophet, evangelists, pastors, teachers, then he's still calling for them now. You quote scripture, but you ignorantly quote scripture. You don't believe what he's actually saying. Hallelujah. Do you? Amen. Because if you did, if you if you say there are no more apostles, well, you really don't believe. Amen. You're just one of those ones that draw nigh with your mouth, mm -hmm. but your hearts are far from. Oh, yeah. far. You, you, you preach uh, uh, what you think for doctrine, mm -hmm. how you feel for right. doctrine. Right. Right. I, I, so many men have books out there mm -hmm. outside of what the Bible says. Well, I think it really means this. No. no. Uh, when we talk about forgiveness, I don't care what happens. You still have to forgive. Amen. But some kind of way, you can write a book and put an exception in there. That's right. And you have other men read that book 
and say, you know what? I, 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 I believe that too. If somebody killed my mother, my wife, my child, ain't no way in the world, or uh, they'll say H, mm -hmm. I'm going to forgive them. Right. And just, I'm just not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, my friend, I have a message for you. You hit hell wide open. When the day of judgment, you don't forgive. Amen. It says, even as your father in heaven forgave, you. We, we, we have to forgive also. Yeah. We can't bear grudges one with another. That's why I say to the body of the Messiah, Amen. let us all love one another. Hey. Mm -hmm. Let's bear the fruits of righteousness. Hallelujah. Let's quit playing church. Hey. Let's be the church. Hallelujah. Whenever you mix faith with what you hear mm -hmm. and you perform it, just don't be a hearer of the word. Right. We got too many hearing. Amen. But we don't see no fruit behind what you're hearing. Amen. When, when it tells us to love one another, mm. I can't love you with a dagger behind my back. No. And as soon as you do something I don't like, wham. Right. I can't love in words. Well, uh, if I see you do something wrong, I go talk to Pastor Bills about it. Never confront you. Mm -hmm. And then after I leave him, I go see Brother Chris. Right. That's not love. Mm -hmm. You're a murderer. Yes. And more to murdering than just actually killing somebody. We murder with our own mouth. We Amen. destroy uh we'll destroy the uh the spirit of a person. Amen. Whenever we Bite and devour one, one another. Yeah. Amen. That, that, that's why Yahweh, his wrath is against. Amen. Even in the church right now. Mm -hmm. Because we refuse to walk in love like he commanded us to Amen. walk. Yes. But read. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's they righteousness. It, let's not be ignorant of his righteousness. Amen. Amen. Forget about your righteousness. Amen. Because our right, our yeah. best righteousness right. is less filthy right. rags. <laughs> you say your best right, you put your best righteousness out there. I feed the poor. Oh, that, that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, Yahweh, he allowed the sun to shine on the, the, the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. he, he, he give, you woke up this morning. He's a just God. Mm -hmm. He's a, a forgiving God. Yes, he is. He laid his life down. What have you done? Mm -hmm. Denied everybody that even asked for help. Yeah. They got a job. They need a job. Amen. But I think and I praise Yahweh for the love mm -hmm. of this body. Amen. Amen. You know, when I was reading, I was looking at uh, Acts 2 and 38. Mm -hmm. And I said, Yahweh, we fulfilling that. Amen. Amen. And I thank him. That's right. Because that, that means we're being doers of the word. It, it talked about they, they were in the temple daily. daily. Well, saints, you're getting the word daily. daily. Hallelujah. And we are those that are going from house to house. Amen. We're breaking bread and fellowship mm -hmm. among the body. That's right. I say, that's Bible. Mm -hmm. And I rejoice in his way. It said they continued steadfastly, but we can't stop Amen. because of bad news. Mm -hmm. Don't you know bad news causes us to want to fear? Yeah. And we, we can't. Saints, now is not the time to fear. Now is the time to believe in him even more oh, so. Hallelujah. I don't care what's before you. It's no reason to fear. We should trust Yahweh. Amen. You know, I was... Uh, on Facebook this morning, mm -hmm. and there was a, uh, let's see if I can find it here, there was a deal, it, it says, when, when, when David faced Goliath, he didn't talk about how dangerous Goliath was, he talked about how great Yahweh is, and didn't talk fear, he talked faith. Don't, don't you know that's what we have to do in adversity? Amen. Right. We can't be talking fear. Oh, Amen. I ain't worked in three weeks. Uh -huh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, they, had, they had that COVID on my job. I might, I might get it. Uh, uh, just everything is woe unto Amen. you. 
Don't you know the words are not thee there even in your mouth? No. We have to speak faith, yeah, saints. Too. We gotta. We can't speak about doubt. Mm -hmm. Amen. If, if if David said, "Oh, that's a big man," oh, oh he big. Mm -hmm. He was already defeated. Oh yeah, he wouldn't have Amen. He, he the, Goliath wouldn't have went down, but his trust <laughs> was in Yahweh. Yes. To the point to where we have a giant before him. Don't with a sword and a shield. Yes. And Goliath, I mean, David was able to pick up a smooth stone. Mm -hmm. Just one. Just one. Amen. Because he knew that Yahweh was with him. Say, don't, don't you know that Yahweh is with us? Yes. He, he prayed to Yahweh. Yes. Yes, Yahweh. Yahweh heard his prayer, mm -hmm. answered him. Yes, he did. Yes, Yahweh. And when he... With the help of Yahweh, mm -hmm. that stone went and sunk into his forehead, mm -hmm. and that giant fell. Don't you know there is nothing too hard for our Amen. God? Hallelujah. Amen. Even our the biggest problem that we may think that we have, mm -hmm. with him, <laughs> it's gone. Amen. That, that's why I'm not worried. My, my work has been slow. Amen. But my, my faith is strong. That's right. I continue to say, Yahweh, you are my exceeding and great reward. You are a way maker. Amen. And every time, yeah. it, without fail, Never. he makes a way. That's right. Amen. Never did I go to my wife with that. Well, baby, no, I didn't get no calls this week. I don't know what's going on. Woe is me. <laughs> baby, I don't think we're going to be able to pay the bills this week. Don't you know Yahweh is continuing to provide? Mm -hmm. I, I, I thank Yahweh that my children, they are fulfilling scripture. Amen. Honor your mother and your father. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're there in the time of need. That's right. And so I say, Yahweh, thank you always provide. Then I get that phone call. Mm -hmm. Can you pick this up? Can you pick that up? Amen. I say, Yahweh, that's I trust you. I yeah. know that you're going to always make a way for Hallelujah. me. I said, I can't doubt. Because, see, doubt want to try all of us. Oh, yeah. No, doubt want to try you. Even when you don't see the bishops moving, it reminds me of the dream that Sister Renee had. Mm -hmm. Instructions were given. They didn't follow the instructions. And their life was in danger. Right. Amen. They came running to the bishops. Mm -hmm. To the first bishop. The first bishop didn't move. Went to a brother. That brother just signifies someone that's sound in the faith. See, more than just bishops. Amen. It should be sound in the faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. If the spirit say, don't move, don't move. That's right. And then went to a, another bishop. And he didn't move. He stayed in place. She said we were just standing in place. Amen. But in the end, the rebellious one was saved. But it wasn't according to how she thought it was going to be. Amen. Don't you know Yahweh, he, he's in control. Mm -hmm. Right. Too many times, and I want y'all to hear me well, listeners and saints. We want to put our trust in man too often. Amen. Yahweh is our Savior. Yes, he is. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. It, it, it's okay to trust, but I, we're just men. Amen. Flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. That's it. There's a one that's <laughs> powerful. Bigger. There's a all hearing, mm -hmm. all seeing. All I'm hearing. not that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That can. Can be anywhere at any time. Yes, man. Heal all diseases. Heal all manner of sickness. Mm -hmm. I, I can't go to everybody and heal everybody. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Chances are I may pray for you and you remain sick. Right. Mm -hmm. But there is one. Amen. You purify yourself, get your mind right. Amen. He'll heal you. Cry. Amen. He'll heal you. 
Yes, you will. But I, I say right now is not the time of us to faint, but read. I want to get Amen. Somewhere. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness. Yes, sir. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Going about to establish their own righteousness. Have not submitted themselves the, unto the righteousness of Yahweh. They have not submitted themselves. Saints, when the bishops get up here and we preach what you what it you ought to do to be saved. You should submit yourself. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you, you think uh, as small as not cleaning your house. Don't you know that will send you to hell? Oh, yeah. Because he's against all uncleanness. I don't care what mm -hmm. form it's in. Amen. Amen. He's against uncleanness. Mm -hmm. How can you show the love of the Messiah being filthy? Amen. And the only thing that brings these things about is you have a lazy spirit. And if your spirit is lazy, how in the world are you going to please him? No, that's right. Amen. That Amen. means you won't even pray right. Mm -hmm. You pray when you feel, when you feel enough strength. Because <laughs> you're that lazy. Right. That, that shouldn't be among the body. No. We should be fervent people. Mm -hmm. I know... Y'all were hearing the cry of the righteous. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised that Brother Romero is up now no. and talking. Amen. I'm not surprised. No. Because I know the God that I serve. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Promise you yeah. true. His promises are, are true. Mm -hmm. You got a mixed faith. That's right. You quit doubting. You believe him now because of the miracles. Amen. But what but remember. He parted the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Moses did. Yeah, did. Yahshua, he fed the 5,000 mm -hmm. and the 3,000. Yep. He raised the dead. Yep. He opened the eyes of the blind. Mm -hmm. the, dumb. The, the dumb speak. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't enough nope. to keep many. It says once he started giving them that manna from above. Many of his disciples. Many. It said many of his disciples. Walked they didn't walk with him no more. more. Don't, don't you know once we start telling you what you need to do to be saved. Many of you will. Something as simple as uh, you need to say amen. amen. You ought to be saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You sing a song unto Yahweh. Amen. Right. Something as simple as that. Mm -hmm. You will reject that, that manna from above, that thing that's going to save you. Mm -hmm. You'll reject it. Amen. Uh -huh. And you'll sit here as though they're preaching on me. No, we're trying to save you. <laughs> that, that's we start the message. It's, Amen. He, he don't want you to be lost. No, Amen. Our prayer is that you be saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we know you're only going to be saved through obedience. Mm -hmm. uh, even myself, I'm still learning obedience. None of us get past that. You, you, you're high-minded if you think you've got it all, that you've attained. You're going to still be learning along this way. I was one that I used to encourage and say, sing it! Sing it! I'm back there. I'm not singing it. And the Spirit came through Apostle Washington. He said, I'm sick of all that. Sing it, sing it. And you ain't singing. You ain't got a right to tell nobody else to sing if you don't sing. That was hard. That was a punch in the gut. Amen. But I love the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. My, uh, that, I, I said, uh, that was my own righteousness not singing. My, my righteousness was, well, I'm singing with everybody else. <laughs> Right. Don't you see me singing? I'm singing. I'm back there. My mouth is moving. Mm -hmm. But someone else is singing. Right. Yeah. I should have a song that I bring before Yahweh. Amen. And I pounded that in my heart. Yeah. And I began to perform. See, many times when we hear the preacher say something, we won't pound it in our heart to perform it. Amen. Whatever it is that apostle bring forth in the message, whatever bishop bring forth in the message, and you find yourself coming up short, you need to just perform it. Amen. 
and, and, and and then that um, weight that's on your shoulder, mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll it'll leave, yeah. and then you'll feel light. Mm-hmm. See, we're the ones that fight against the spirit, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and it's hard to kick against the prick. Even with the seven days a week, <laughs> twice on Sunday, mm-hmm. preaching, if you don't maintain good works, oh, yeah. don't you know some of you will fall off and start coming up with excuses? Yeah. Well, I can listen to it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Who promised you tomorrow? Huh. Well, I need to take care of this right now. Why come you didn't take care of it earlier? No. You had all day. You remember, most people at home right now. <laughs> you don't have no excuse. Right. Exactly. What? What are you going? The parks are closed. Yeah. Stores are closed. Stores closed by nine o'clock. What's your <laughs> excuse? Right. Scripture says, "I inexcusable man, whosoever you, you are, quit coming up with excuses." Well, I was tired. Took a nap at six. Know the word start at seven. And you slept through. Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, spirit just hit a... I, I saw that nail go deep in the wood right there. Amen. Right on the head. Because the spirit Amen. never prophesied things in vain, speak no, no. things falsely. Amen. Because some are doing this right here. Amen. We're blessed. And hear me. I say we are highly Amen. blessed. For the word to come. You don't have to beat and bring your body under subjection. Yes, oh, you do. yeah. Amen. It's, a fight. It, 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 it's a fight. But fight and do the right thing. Amen. Don't do the wrong thing. Amen. I, I look forward to the word coming forth. Amen. Sometimes my flesh says, ah, that's my flesh. I say, I, I, I want to hear the word. That's right. The things is to the saving of my soul mm-hmm. because I know everything that we hear. I, I thank Yahweh for Apostle Hurley preaching. Amen. On, on, on the, the law. Yes. Because I, I, under Moses, none of y'all will be saved. Mm-hmm. Hold fast to it if you want to. But Yeshua was the fulfillment of the law. That's right, man. And, and, and to show that you're not holding fast to it. You ain't stoned nobody when no, you no. seen them working on, on the Sabbath day. No. Or any other thing that they cause for punishment. All these adultery committers. No, I've never seen it. No. <laughs> you, you ain't, it, it, your, your own brother, your sister no, in adultery. Where well, you're stoned at? <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. You gotta stone your kids too. Yeah, you gotta stone your kids for being too. You, you, for being disobedient. You see that? You're not real. <laughs> You might as well come on and hear what we have to say. Amen. Because we'll, we'll free you from that law. Amen. Amen. Serving Yahshua is the best. Amen. It's in our hearts. Yes, Don't have to tell us not to steal because it's in us. Amen. Don't have to teach us to love one because it's in us. Amen. All of it is in the body of Yahshua the Messiah. And if we're walking in him, we're fulfilling the law. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you don't need all of that. Mm-mm. But I thank and praise Yahweh for uh, the teaching of Apostle Washington. Yes. Without, without his teaching, oh my Lord. I'd still be going getting a 15 minute sermon mm-hmm. and a 20 minute offering gathering. Oh yeah. And goosebumps when the organ player play, the, play when the preacher up there. And the Lord said <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> All that drama hey. ain't helped nobody. Nobody. Not not one person. How, how, how many husband and wife still arguing with one another? Amen. How many children still being rebellious to their parents? Oh, yeah. How many people still walking in lasciviousness? You got so many fornicators out in the land. You know, I heard a doctor this morning, and I laughed. <laughs> because she was interviewing a, a sinner. <laughs> and she said, how long uh, do it take uh, for you to be intimate with your boyfriend? 
I said, Lord have mercy. See, sin. Mm -hmm. Even the, the, the corona is keeping people from committing adultery right, right. now. Right. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, Yahweh. <laughs> you have a way to get man's oh, yeah. attention. Yeah. But read. Amen. For the Messiah is the end of the law. Yes, sir. For righteousness to everyone that believeth. Yes. For Moses describeth the righteousness which is of the law. Yes. That the man which doeth those things shall live by them. That the man that doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of the but faith. the righteousness. Which is of faith. And, and see, you don't live by them. Amen. But see, the righteousness of the faith speaketh on this wise. Speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart. Say not in thy heart. Who shall ascend into heaven? <laughs> quit, 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 quit asking yourself all these questions right here. That, Amen. That don't it don't obtain to your salvation. Amen. People get lost in that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, who's gonna be? Uh, who, who's gonna go first? My mom or my dad? Uh, am I going to be able to see them in, in, in when I get to heaven? All that kind of stuff. Amen. Read. Who shall ascend into heaven? Yes, sir. That is, to bring the Messiah down from above. Yes, sir. Or who shall descend into the deep? Yes. That is, to bring up the Messiah again from yes. the dead. But what saith it? What saith it? The word is nigh thee. The word is nigh thee. Even in thy it mouth. Even in your mouth. And in thy heart. In thy heart. That is the word of that faith. That is the word of faith. Which we preach. Which we preach. Amen. Don't get wrapped up in. See, that's what's wrong with some saints in the body right now. They get wrapped up in a lot of questions. Now, things that don't accomplish your salvation. Amen. We trying to get you to, to be a virtuous wife, mm -hmm. but but you looking for something deep. Amen. I'm gonna tell you that <laughs> I'm gonna I'm show you a mystery, <laughs> and this is deep. It, this is deep. <laughs> Clean up. <laughs> Just, that's as deep as it's gonna get. All right. The scripture says. <laughs> She rose early. Early. <laughs> but you want to rise at 12 or 1 o'clock. Not going to work. You got to do start doing according to what's written. That's the deep thing. Start doing according to what's written. Amen. We have, well, surpassed the Bible with so great a cloud of witnesses in this place. Yes, Yahweh. I, I, can, I can name virtuous sisters mm -hmm. in the faith. Amen. Ones that, 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 that reverence their husband, that honor, obey. Amen. Their desire is to their Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But if if this word is not in you, it's all about you. Amen. We can become a selfish people. I, I love it when apostles say it's it's not about you. Amen. My flesh would rather be at home sleeping. Or watching TV. That's my flesh. Mm -hmm. But it's not about me. It, it's about the saving of souls. Amen. It is necessary to do this until the Spirit say, okay, that, that's enough. Amen. Our hope and our prayer is that we're able to come back together soon. Not, not, not so that he'll lift the punishment. Mm -hmm. We miss one another. Yes. I tell you what, one thing about this right here, yes. you that didn't want a fellowship, I bet you now. I can't wait till we get together again. Uh -huh. See, y'all will even have a way of changing <laughs> you that think you're righteous yeah. to making you righteous. <laughs> right. Read. Amen. But what saith it? Yes. The word is nigh thee, it's nigh even thee. in thy mouth and in thy heart. Uh, go, let's go. If the word is nigh thee. It's even, even saying. Let's start speaking right. Amen. Quit talking about the doom and the gloom. Even I, I thank Yahweh for Sister Hadisa. Mm -hmm. Because Satan want to try her right now. Amen. Her, her husband has this coronavirus. Yes. And her spirit has changed tremendously. Yes. And if Satan can sift her with this. She have to believe that, Yah that Yahweh is in control. Amen. And the trying of our faith is what's going to make us, us perfect. Amen. And so believe the, in the prayers of the righteous. Yah Yahweh 
Yahweh is in control of all things. Amen. And our prayers and our thoughts are with you, Sister Adisa. Amen. Just as well as they were with Sister Misty. Hallelujah. Even when the doctors came and they said, I'm sorry that he should have been he should have been off by now. I, I, I don't think <laughs> it's not good. That's what that's the mouth of the doctor. Amen. Now, see, we have words that perceive what the doctors say. Oh yeah. We can either go and 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 and, and, and quote what they're saying. Oh, we can say, well, I serve a powerful God. I hear what you're saying. Amen. But the God I serve, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to him. Amen. I know you're a doctor. Yeah. You but but see, I, I'm going to the one that actually made the body. <laughs> right. That formed man and yeah. breathed through his nostril and gave them the breath of life. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to put my trust in him right the now. Last because see, yeah. what we have a tendency to do That's right. is... We'll speak what the doctors say. You got diabetes. And then whenever we say, what's wrong with you? I got diabetes. Claim it. You claim it. Yes. Well, I'm saying the words are not these. They're even in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> well, the doctor said, but you know, I'm not going to claim it. He's a healer. Amen. That's right. You do what you're supposed to do. Amen. Because the doctors will have you popping pills and you read the warnings and it said to mess up your kidney. More side effects. And the next thing you know, your kidney messed up. And they say, well, we can change the dosage on that right there and put you on something else, and, and it give you nightmares. Right. And, and all, the, all the drugs they give you start to mess your body up. Amen. Because you believe in them more than you do. That's right. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. No one, you, you don't go to the bishop for prayer. I'm not saying it's wrong to go to a doctor, and if they prescribe you something, amen. But don't put your trust in that. You, you, you trust in Yahweh, Yahweh. I don't want to take this medicine. Mm -hmm. But my body right now, it hurt. Mm -hmm. But I'm trusting. And then go on a fast and, and leave it alone for a day and yeah. see what happens. Amen. Because see, our trust has to be in it him. It has to be. Yes. Amen. Because sometimes you can hear this message and think that I'm against medicine. Medicine's good. Oh, yeah. That's what the scriptures say. He, he allows it if he allows it to work. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but my, my, the point that I'm driving is where is your faith in the Messiah? Amen. Mm -hmm. Why are we quicker to believe what a doctor will say? Why are we quicker to go to a doctor before we even go and, and, and ask for prayer? <laughs> and, and then you got to go away believing. That, that, that's where the healing come in at. Right. Is believing that you feel a pain and you're like, eh, I still feel the pain. Well, how you believe it? Right. Chances are you believe strong enough. <laughs> he, he told the he said, rise, take that bed up and walk. That man had enough faith right. he that he, he did what the spirit <laughs> told him to do. Yeah. He didn't doubt. He said he, he believed in the Son of Yahweh mm -hmm. Amen. that he was able to perform what he asked of him. And that's what the Spirit is asking you. Perform that's what right. the Spirit is calling for you to do. Amen. And watch miracles start oh, yeah. to happen in your life. Amen. Let's let's quit all the doubting. Amen. Let's stop all the complaining and the mumbling. It's not helping your spirit at all. No, it's not. It said to, to, to the rather giving of thanks. Mm -hmm. Whenever adversity come my way, believe me, I got to gird up the loins of my mind because I, I, I want to. This mouth is ready to complain. Oh, yeah. And sometimes I catch myself and I say, the, the, the spirit still say, give thanks mm -hmm. in, in all, all things. things. No matter what the condition is, Okay, your loved one is in the hospital. Give thanks. You give thanks. Yes. Knowing that our Father, which is in heaven, hears all things. Amen. That he'll hear your cry. Amen. But don't let him hear the mumbling and complaint. That's right. Uh, it'll become a blame game. Mm -hmm. Well, you knew you had it. Why'd you come over my house? 
You know, saints ought to know better than that. See, if, if you wasn't listening to what Apostle Washington was saying, you wouldn't have it right now. All that kind of mess. Yahweh knows he's heard the, he's heard your mouth. Oh, yeah. They say go pray. They, they, they believe you can pray for somebody and they won't get, and you won't get it. Yeah, I believe that. Mm -hmm. Nobody ain't called me for prayer. Amen. That had it, but mm -hmm. I'm one that I'll go. Oh, yeah. If y'all always send me. Amen. See, again, we have to be spirit led too. Amen. But my faith and my trust, I, I know yeah. that he gave us power to heal. Yes, he did. To cast out devils. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of a coronavirus, Spanish flu, whatever it is. Because right. there are going to be other oh, yeah. diseases after after this is over with. Right. <laughs> this is just one that no one had control of. Right. Yahweh made sure. Mm -hmm. They still scrambling, trying to get a, oh, yeah. a, a, a remedy for it. Uh -huh. And haven't come up with nothing yet. Oh, no. They say this this uh, distancing might last to 2022, mm -hmm. keeping people away from each other. Right. <laughs> might last to 2022. Shame. But the God that I serve, all I know, if we, we go to him, here, here I cry. Yes. So I'm not afraid of what the scientists are saying and all of that. I, after I may say what they're saying so that you may know what they're saying. But do I trust in what they're saying? No. no. Because they have a, they didn't make anything. Mm -hmm. that, Yahweh allowed creation. Mm -hmm. And things still to be created. Yeah. A man are like gods and they're able to come up with many, mm -hmm. many a thing. Gave them but at the end of a, at the end of the day, <laughs> Yahweh is still in control. That's right. Uh, wrong, uh, Hebrews. I'm going to go on to chapter 11. Yes. Amen. Hebrews 11 and but 1. I was going to go to uh, uh, Ephesians, but I'm just going to quote. Amen. It, when it says for us to be strong yes. and of good courage. Amen. So, saints, let us start to think sober. We, we don't need, sadness is not going to help. No. Let's start thinking sober. Uh, it, it's okay if you weep tonight. Scripture still say joy will come in the morning. Mm -hmm. Don't don't allow it. This is what I'm saying. Don't allow it to consume you, because if it consumes you, that's your every waking thought. And how can Yahweh work where there's unbelief? Right. He He can't. Yeah. He works where there's a believer. Mm -hmm. And believe me, I've been through many things in my lifetime. And my, I stand fast in my faith. Amen. Uh, yeah. My daughter had asthma. The prayer of the righteous, she hasn't had it since she's been prayed for. She was healed. My grandson, when he was born, only a couple of weeks old, he had a heart condition. Went and they performed surgery. He has had four since then, but the... Through faith, Yahweh see them through because when you talk to the doctors, those that are supposed to know a lot, they said, chances are he won't make it to see a long life. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I told my daughter, I said, we have to trust in Yahweh. Mm -hmm. If he choose to take him, he will. Amen. But if he don't, his, his, his life is in Yahweh's hand, not in the doctor's hand. He's 20 years old now. Amen. My trust wasn't in what they said. Hallelujah. We'd have had him buried at the age of nine. Mm -hmm. But our faith is strong in Amen. him. Yes. And I'm going to continue to profess Amen. what he can do. I, I, I'm one that I've seen with my eyes according to what's written. I, I bear witness of the fruit multiplying mm -hmm. among a, a bunch of hungry brothers. We had a concentration. Concentration is good. It done us very good. Mm -hmm. 
And some should still be, if you're continuing in the fast, on the fast days, you're still taking part of that concentration. That's how you have to see it. That's right. Amen. And it'll do your soul good. We get up and we watch biblical movies. Mm -hmm. We pray. We fast. There are nights before I go to bed, especially when there's the, the brother and the sick, I sit and I light a couple of incense. And my prayer go before Yahweh. Yes. Amen. Asking him to touch and heal. Amen. Only as you can. We're not trusting in man. We're trusting in you. Yes, Yahweh. Amen. You, you, you know his labor of love. You know his wife. He has children, Yahweh. Amen. I, I allow this, this cup to pass him by. Amen. Heal it. Yes. That's my prayer. Amen. Amen. But it's in the hands of Yahweh. That's right. Mm -hmm. But many of the saints are praying. We're on one accord. Yes, Yahweh. And Amen. He's able to work when the people when the people have a mind. Mm -hmm. Don't you know He can work with that? Yes. But read. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. Yes, sir. The evidence of things not seen. Yes. For by it the elders obtained a good and, report. And I, with, I'm an elder at this point in time. Mm -hmm. It says, by this, the elders obtained, they obtained a, good, a good, report. good report. Through faith. Through what? Through faith. You know, if it wasn't for the faith, the faith that I have, I wouldn't be standing here. That's right. there, there are things that have came my way that made me want to doubt. Amen. Amen. Does it take all, all of this right here? Amen. Amen. But my eyes are on the righteous. Amen. And, and I see what they go through. And it strengthens me. Mm -hmm. I, again, I thank Yahweh for Apostle Washington. Amen. Because in everything Amen. that he do, Amen. he's teaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you call him up and you say, praise him, how you, how you doing, uh, what you doing, and they'll say, I'm either listening to the word, I'm um, reading, I'm um, praying. Um, it, it's a, a teachable moment. Right. It gives you a thought. On, on how the, the love that you should have, Amen. the compassion that he has for the whole body. Amen. He sacrificed. I remember when me and my wife, we were seeking Yahweh's face, and they heard about it. And the saints up in Lubbock had pretty much gave up on serving Yahweh. They rebelled. And so the spirit moved upon him to move down here because there was some that wanted to serve. Amen. I'm one of those. And we have many others that still here that was seeking Yahweh's face. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, he left a life in love. Amen. Moved down here. Yes, he started from scratch. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now there are some believers in Lubbock, Texas. And yeah. that's why I say uh Look, be strong. Amen. Don't 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 let the devil ride no more. Lock your door. Amen. Amen. Don't don't let him in your car because if you do, he he want to drive. Oh yeah. He'll drive you right out of the church. He he'll show for you wherever your <laughs> imagination right. will take Amen. you. That's why he don't have no place. That's right. Him. But I thank Yahweh that. Even now, he's ready to pack it up. This is lo love is causing him to do all of these things. Amen. The love of the Messiah. Yes, he's fixing to pack up. Mm -hmm. He don't have a job waiting for him down in Lubbock. Mm -hmm. He's doing this by faith. Again, reminding me of Abraham. Yes. The Spirit told Abraham, get thee from among thy kinsmen. And I'm going to go to a land that I will show you. And again, Apostle Watt, mixing faith. But what the Spirit told him to do. Now, in a couple of months from now, he'll be moving to love it. Amen. By faith. Yes. Trusting that Yahweh is going to open up doors down there. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have a body of believers down there. Hallelujah. It's not time for you to get weak. No. By, by, by the fact, get even stronger. Amen. I, I, I say... Let your children grab hold onto your coattail because see our children are a product of us. Amen. And what they see mom and dad do, they will do. 
So sometimes if your children are all very weak in the faith, we have to examine ourselves. Amen. Uh, how often do they see you reverencing your husband? Right. How often is the father asking the family, come on, mm -hmm. let's pray yeah. for, for this person or that person? Right. Yes, you uh, You know what? We, we have to be better. Let's stay focused on Amen. Amen. Don't allow your children just to come in your presence any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Whenever they're going to school, make sure that they're wearing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I thank Yahweh for my daughter, Natisha. Yeah. You know, her, her daughter and her son is in the faith. Dominic's 20. He's grown. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a man now. Mm -hmm. But her daughter, Madison, 11. If I'm wrong, forgive me. <laughs> Granddaughter. As a mother, she's responsible. So she gave up, because most children today, they have phones. She gave her a phone, but it's a monitored phone. It's a phone that she can't be on the phone all night long. She has three hours, and the phone shuts off. <laughs> Once she's used up her three hours, she can't get back on that. The phone shuts off. So as a good parent, a response, you'll start doing things like this. Amen. She check her daughter's phone. Mm -hmm. What are you watching? Yeah. Well, I don't want you watching that Facebook right. junk. Mm -hmm. That's what a good mother uh, will do for their child. Amen. You just don't give a child. That's like giving a child a car keys and say, move the car. Right. <laughs> that child don't have a clue. They backing up and you hear, bam! Amen. We'll give our child something dangerous. Amen. Kids are they're predators on these phones. Yeah. She she can't she just can't freely go to the internet and search what she wants to search. A good mother put uh, locks and codes. Control. She she's in control. Yeah. The kid don't control the parent. Mm -mm. And that's the time that we're living in. Amen. Is the children have more control of the parent. Mm -hmm. Because they throw a fit. Oh, yeah. You know, I love Sarah's testimony. She opened my eyes to many things. Because, see, parents are like this right here. Things get on their nerve. <laughs> Kids would get on your nerve. Mom, can I go? No, you cannot go. Come back ten minutes later. Mom, can I go, please? No, you can't go. Come back 30 minutes late. Mom, can I go? Can I go? Everybody's going to be there. <sighs> All right. A bunch of sinners at school. Mm -hmm. Just so that she'll quit or he will quit bugging. You allow them to go with a whole bunch of sinners. Right. And you wonder why they want to hear worldly music. Mm -hmm. I thank y'all wait for the example that Apostle set. Yeah. When I first came into church, I thought he was strict. Mm -hmm. I had to follow the pattern that he followed. Right. Because at one point I let my kids go, but he was, and see, this is what I'm saying. You have to mix faith with what you hear. Mm -hmm. He would say he wouldn't allow his children to be around his family members because he knew how corrupt they were. Well, I wasn't mixing faith with what I was hearing. I was mixing feeling with what I was hearing. Right. My feeling is they need to be around somebody. Mm -hmm. They got to play with somebody. Mm -hmm. Well, there are those that are in the faith that they can be around. Yeah. Because my, my relatives, the music is cussing, talking about women, body parts, men, mm -hmm. body parts, all that kind of. Right. It's not edifying. And then they got them shaking their behinds and they think it's cute and they filming it and posting it and mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff. Right. And you wonder why the Spirit say it's not good for you to be around your kin folks mm -hmm. or not even to let your kids go around your kin folks. Yeah. Right. Your, your child got makeup on mm -hmm. when you come pick her up. Right. That shouldn't be. Amen. Your, your, your son got on some uh, earrings. Mm -hmm. 
shouldn't be. So, so we're responsible for our children. Yes, we are. What kind of soundness is going on in your house? Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we're, we're talking about faith, and we're talking about faithful men in the scripture here. And all of them had to hear what Yahweh was saying to them Amen. in order for things to transpire in their life. And I'm saying this to everyone. Is you, you want to see change in your life. Amen. Well, mix faith with what you're hearing right now. The Spirit has instructed all of us mm -hmm. on what we need to do. Right. right now is not time for you to be thinking about yourself. It, even now, like I said, I don't have a lot of money coming in, but we still have enough love to at least give some money. Amen. Amen. Because I know my, my God is still a rewarder. Yes, he is. Still provides. He, he's not telling you to give every last dime you got. <laughs> no. And that's why I'm thanking Yahweh for those that are, are taking on a mind. I, I, I haven't seen this kind of love in a long time. Amen. But thank you, saints, you that are stepping up mm -hmm. and helping those that are in need. I, I caught wind. And see, I can only speak of the good yeah. that people are doing. Amen. That uh, Sister Riddle, <laughs> couldn't even think of a name there. <laughs> Sister Justine. Sister Shaw. Sisters like Sister Shaw. Sister Justine. She and thank Yahweh for modern technology. Oh yeah. She uh, did a grocery order in Arlington, mm -hmm. out there in Lubbock, and had them to deliver groceries to those how to those that are in need right Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Sister Shaw took time out and she sent uh, uh, gourmet cookies mm -hmm. from a bakery. Yeah. Had them delivered to Saint's house. I say, see, that's the kind of love. That Amen. kind of love has to abound yes, yes. among the brother. That's right. That we got to be there for one mm -hmm. another. If they have them on cord, they can't get out. So they have ways in this modern time that we live in mm -hmm. that yeah. things are a whole lot easier now than they were back then. Amen. All you got to do is pick up a phone and Amen. things are ordered Amen. and delivered. Yes. So you that have that mind, may Yahweh be with you. Yes. Bless you a hundredfold. Amen. Read a little bit more, and I got a I, my time is definitely through, ran out. Through faith, we understand yes, that sir. the worlds were framed by the word of God. Yes. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Yes. Yes. By faith, Abel offered up unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice yes, than Cain. Then came. By which he obtained witness that he was righteous. And, and the thing is, we're all offered up sacrifices. Amen. But the, the how. Is your exact sacrifice more acceptable? Mm -hmm. Because you have a Cain and an Abel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some, some are just doing, offering up sacrifices. They don't care what kind of sacrifice it is. Leftover. Whatever's left over. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I got my cable, my mm -hmm. uh, big screen, my everything that you want. You're going to make sure that you have it. You make sure you still get your Starbucks, all of that kind of Amen. stuff. So you're giving a cane offering. Amen. Spirit say, let's make a sacrifice. You're going to give your best. Oh, yeah. Whenever the Spirit calls for it, you give your best. First not what's fruits. left over. The first fruits of your increase. That's right. Amen. That's why I'm thankful for you that, that have received this uh, supplement income from the government. Mm -hmm. Many are thinking up on the church. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and it's reflected in your tithing and offering. Amen. I thank Yahweh. At this point in time, I would have thought that tithing and offering would have decreased. But during this time, it has actually increased. Thank you, Yahweh. Yes. And, and, and again, yeah, right. it's like uh, Teacher Riddle just said, it's because you can't do that. Right. Movies, are closed. Movies and all that stuff that's are closed. Wrong. So it's a proof. <laughs> well, that's a will. That's right. <laughs> there is a way. Yes. But read. Amen. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh more excellent sacrifice yes, than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yes. Yahweh testifying of his gifts, yes. and by it he being dead and, yet speaking. And see, when the Spirit can testify of what you're doing, it, that, that's good. Amen. And I just, I want to thank Yahweh for the words that he's given me. Yes. But believe Lord. me, I just got started. Oh, yeah. But it's all right. 
<laughs> Yahweh is good. That's right. And we say, please tune in tomorrow. Amen. There will be other bishops up here declaring the Same. words of Yahweh. Same time. And we say to our hearers, G give us give us a chance. Amen. He hear what we have to offer mm -hmm. compared to what you're hearing right now. Amen. And see if our words are more words of eternal life than just a fairy tale and a prosperity message for mm -hmm. you. Until we see you again, peace be.